everybody, Kelvin here and what I have decided to do today is go through the process of resetting the administrator password for your ICE administrator account. So you may have got locked, uh, locked out or forgotten your password or typed some um, characters that you can't remember as you were changing an expired password or anything like that um, and now you find that you cannot access um ice via your administrator account so the process is pretty straightforward what we need to do first is we need to ensure that we have uh, the iso image um, for your ice deployment you can download this from the cisco.com website so for instance i'm using a virtual version of ice 2.3 so i've downloaded the ice 2.3 ISO. For anybody using the actual appliance itself, you can download the um, ISO, then insert it into your DVD drive, and you know the process is is pretty much the same. So there's just a few slight things you might need to consider as you um, think about doing this with the virtual instance. One being is that your boot order for ICE may be slightly different. I did find with mine, um, and we can have a look at this, um, I did find with mine the boot order would never reach the removable, um, the CD uh, drive. So it'd get to the hard drive and you know basically this this would never be connected. So we need to ensure that we've got CD and uh, DVD uh, with your ISO file uh, selected then we need to make sure that these two boxes are checked to connect on power on and connected Then what we'll do is as you probably can't get access to the CLI to reboot is we can using VMware workstation or whatever um, virtual environment you're using you need to somehow restart the guest and when we restart the guest we need to be ready to select F2 in my case so that we can enter the BIOS settings so we'll just wait for that now so that took almost a minute and as you can see I quickly pressed F2 there to enter the BIOS so once we're in the BIOS what we need to do is we need to make sure that CD-ROM drive um, is above basically the hard drive um, and make sure obviously you've got no removable uh, sort of USB flash drives or anything inserted um, because I think by default the CD-ROM drive is actually underneath the hard drive um, so you know when it's doing the post it's always going to go top down and when it hits hard drive it'll never get to CD-ROM so once we're happy that those settings are correct we can exit then out of there um, I'll just discard changes because mine's already set so we'll do that oops exit and as you can see now that we're actually brought to the ISO so in my case I'm using keyboard and monitor so I'm going to select option number three and then it's going to load in and when this is loaded we should be able to select option one yep so option one as you can see recover administrator password so I'll select option one now and we can see that my admin username I've only got one set up um, as admin so we want to reset that password so I'm going to select number one and then I'm going to enter the new password that I want and then I'm going to once I'm happy and I'm confident that um, uh, I know the password I'm going to select Y to save changes I'm then going to apply the changes. I'm going to press enter to continue. 
then before pressing quit and reload if you followed the same steps as I did with the uh, with the virtual version what we need to do is we need to now um, where's it gone we need to now disconnect the CD DVD or actually remove the ISO whichever is better for you um, and then the password should take effect once we quit out of there so I'll reload this I'll put the video for now and when it's reloaded um, so what I've done there is I've not re I need to uncheck that as well and then I'll just select option 3 again just to get oops no it's not connected so it doesn't really matter so what I'll do now is I can power cycle this and it shouldn't go back to that now because I've disconnected the virtual CD drive so I'll pause the video now as I say and I'll come back when it's back onto the loading screen and then we can test and ensure that the new credentials that I um, selected work and now that it's loaded I have just successfully logged in now with my um, new credentials and it's as simple as that you should now have access to the administrator account again and once the if we show application status ice once the um, services are finished initializing we should be able to access the GUI and then enter the same credentials to get into or access the web UI so at the, at the moment as you can see on the right hand side my GUI is not ready yet um, so yeah application server uh, which is what it is um, shows it's not running yet and that's purely because I've just um, reloaded the device so yeah that's that's pretty much it so I hope that helps and if you have any questions please feel free to drop me a comment in the comment section below on uh, my YouTube channel or you can also drop me a comment on my blog. That's it for now. Thank you.